Hey guys, Ali at Stan, welcome back to Ironic Sims and we are back with another episode of Let's Play Kingdom Come Deliverance and oh my god, we are starving. So, last episode we finally, you know, f uh, finished the intro, let's pick up all these pancakes and chow them all down. Okay, let's eat, alright, so now, bingo, okay, we're not full yet, but we can can grab some food from the pot over here and that should keep us that should get us going okay now let's see what food do we have I mean what items do we have so, so now we have one weapon already I picked up thank goodness I picked this up I mean jeez all right door key okay we have some money we're gonna have to collect some money to pay off the debt which we're gonna have to do soon okay lock picks that's gonna be useful I guess all right okay now let's put on that al that helmet. I'm 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 not gonna wear that. Uh okay, save your snaps, definitely. Okay, we can leave the bow. Okay, we won't need that yet. Okay, I'm I'm gonna wear this. Ah, actually, you know what? Let's yeah. I'm gonna just uh yeah. Okay, now we have got Kanesh Hammer. Okay, well, you see, this doesn't really do much, so I'm gonna leave it. Oh no, I could wait, keep it, because we could give it to him. Alright, or something, I don't know. When we see him, let's leave that stuff. Okay. Okay, now, now where is this guy? Okay, now... Now, what happened to that spade? There should be a spade around here, which we could take. Okay. Whatever, anyway, okay. Let's go, let's go talk to, to Peshek. Okay, let's go. Okay. My Hello. name's Henry. Thank you for taking care of me here. Mm -hmm. My name's Peshek, and I'm the miller here. You've already met my niece, Teresa. She took care of you for two whole weeks while you were in limbo. Uh, yeah. And talking of you being at death's door. While you were lying here, you worked up quite a bill with the blood letter. Who blood came now letter. And to keep you alive with his potions. That quack doesn't come cheap. I paid him what I could, but I still, that is, you still owe him. I see. Well, it's better to be in debt than to lie dead in a ditch. Yeah. What do I owe? I'm not afraid of hard work. You won't pay for that shoveling manure. I might have a better job for you. And it's not something any fool can do. If you prove to me you're a clever lad, I might trust you with something you could really make money from. What do you say? Mm. What would you need from me? Well, what would you need from me? A truffle. Just to take something from someone and bring it to someone else. And not get caught while you're doing it. That sounds straightforward enough. Except for not get caught. Why would anyone want to catch me? No. Oh, don't worry. It's just a job like any other. Only this one requires, uh, let's say, the right moral disposition. Do corpses bother you? No honorable man should touch them. That's the executioner's job. Did you expect I'd give you a hoe and send you out to the fields? You can yeah. dig all right, but somewhere else. I want to know whether you're going to hide behind some stupid fucking scruples, or if you might be useful for more unconventional work. Mm. Tell me more. I was prepared for just about anything, but that's a bit much. But go on, tell me more. Listen. It's about this ring my mate Wodzek, the Kohelnitz Miller, had his eye on. Trouble is, they buried the ring by the gibbet along with the villain they hung while he was wearing it. Jesus Christ, you want me to dig up a corpse, take a ring from it and give it to your friend in Kohelnitz? There's nothing sacred to you. <laughs> Money first, morals later. That fellow is dead, he won't miss it. Whatever bleeding heart came up with the idea that it's disrespectful to disturb a corpse never read the bible it's still a human body only it's missing a soul uh, why be disgusted by something created by god hmm. 
I'll do it. I think I've already heard more than I need to. What's your okay, man? let's Thank go. You. This is too much talking. All right. Okay. Oh, he gave us some spirits. Nice. Okay. But now I don't know if we have a spade or not. I think there should be one around here, should there? Oh, here it is. Here it is. Okay, let's take this. There we go. Pick it up. There we go. I picked up the spade. All right. Now. Okay, so now our next thing we need to do is we need to now go see. Go see uh, Sir Regic. Okay, I, I, I don't have a horse yet. Damn it. I forgot that. I forgot that I don't have a horse. Okay. There we go. Okay, so now let's let's just keep on running. We're gonna have to get some armor and some clothes soon. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, that that is definitely true. We're gonna have to get some armor and some clothes. But we'll get there, there's no doubt about that. We will get there. Okay. Yeah, we'll get there. Oh, 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 lag, 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 lag. That's crazy. Lag is too much. Okay. Let's see oh. here. Who are you and where are you going? <laughs> I'm Henry, son of the Scarlet's blacksmith. I'm going to see my liege, Sir Radzik Kabila of Voyez. Of course you are, lad. And I'm the Pope. What do you want from his lordship? And what makes you think he'll see you? Um, what happened to his sword? Um, Come on, I'm not some peasant. I'm Sir Radzik's blacksmith and I need to speak with him. It's my job to stop you. Now bugger off. Um, okay. I may not look the part, but I know about honor and duty. And mine is to tell Sir Radzik what happened to the sword he commissioned. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right, he doesn't then. look good. Go ahead. It'll be your skin, Sir Radzik isn't pleased. Uh -huh. Yep, your skin. Okay. Okay. Oh. Will that be the smith's son, Hal? On my soul. It is him. What are you doing here, lad? We thought you were done for. Uh, I was attacked. These guys are good. Bandits attacked me in Scalitz. And why, for God's sake, did you go back there? Who else but cutthroats and banders did you expect to find? I needed to bury my parents. Hmm. Oh, I see. Your father fought like a lion. I'm sorry. He saved my life. And not just yours. He was a good man, and you did right to bury him. I didn't even manage that. I failed to save him or put him to rest. And just what could you have done at Scalix? If you tried to fight, the both of you would be dead. Hmm. He gave his life for yours, Hal. So you'd better make good use of it. You're right. And just what are you doing here? Uh, let's see which one. I must speak with Sir Radzik. Is he here? He's in the palace with Sir Hanush of Ratai. They're feasting in the knight's hall. What do you want with him? My father made him a sword. He, um, he asked me to deliver it to Sir Radzik. I don't see any sword. No. Bandits attacked me and stole it. I need to tell his lordship what happened. And then I'm going to find the sword. Of course you are, Hal. Good luck. Mm. Thanks. Uh, ah, thank you. Thank you, buddy. Okay, I think it's in here, right? Hello, I'm trying to get past. Okay, it's not in there. Oh, uh, I think it's still up the stairs, yeah. Yeah, it's still up these stairs, I think, yeah. Ah, yeah, it is, yes. Um, ah, bingo. 
Bingo. Yeah. Your graces, I have to tell you in all seriousness that this land of ours is in the shit. Deep fucking shit. Now this guy is my Don't favorite actor. <laughs> I mean, I he's so funny. Hanush. But I've been driven best. out of my own castle, so I'm hardly going to disagree. Indeed. But Pirkstein is yours for as long as you need it. There's room enough for your men and you here at Rate, and I'm sure my ward won't have any objection to me lending you his castle. I'd be honored. Pirkstein is at your disposal as long as you wish, Your Grace. Just as well you have another castle at the other end of town, eh? <laughs> Ah, at any rate, I'm beholden to you, Sir Hans, and to you, Sir Hanosh. Mm. I don't like to speak ill of your people, Sir Radzik, but, well, there's no love lost between the townsfolk and the refugees. There's been talk of criminality. No, oh, they'll have to get used to it until the situation's resolved. But when will it be resolved? And what on God's earth is this war even about? I won't lie, sir, I don't understand it. You aren't alone, Father. I believe Sigismund's original intention was to persuade Wenceslas to accept the imperial crown and to leave the rule of Bohemia to him. Well, who could blame him? I know Wenceslas is a friend of yours, Radzig, but even you have to admit he brought it upon himself. I can't deny the king neglected affairs of state for other pursuits. There is a need for order in the land, but I don't think the lords who sided with Sigismund realized just what Hungarian order looks like. <laughs> Hungarian order. <laughs> what concerns me, sir, is how a good Christian could resort to such brutality. To give him his due, I don't think he expected the lords of this country to stand behind the king. But thanks to him, we're tearing ourselves apart, and now he has to get things under control. But why in God's name does he have to use those barbarians? Money is the root of all evil, young sir. Wars are costly, and this one has dragged on for a year. Sigismund ran out of coin for knights, so he recruited those whore sons that settled in Hungary. The less he pays, the more they make up for it with plunder. That's why he attacked us. He was after our silver. What are you doing? You've no business here. Clear off. Wait, it's Henry. Henry, who disappeared after I clearly ordered him to remain at Taunberg. I'm sorry, sir, but I had to bury my parents. And two? Do you think you were the only man who lost someone there? But the others listened to their lord. And it wasn't just your own life you nearly threw away. So Robard and his men risked theirs to save you. I'm sorry, but I had to. No, oh, there you go. When you have to, you have to, Radzik. <laughs> your father was a remarkable man. And your mother, she was remarkable too. They deserved a Christian burial. Did you manage that at least? No. I was attacked by thieves. I wouldn't be here now if it wasn't for that girl. Girl? The miller's daughter, Teresa. <laughs> the miller's daughter saved you from the footpads? There's a tale to tell your children. I owe her my life. She distracted them and then brought me to Ratai. But without Sir Robard, we'd both be dead. Oh, that's what I call a good woman. Hang on to that one, lad. Still, it's a great shame your parents are buried in unconsecrated ground. That means purgatory for them. Be quiet, friar. I didn't invite you here to eat me out of house and home and deliver a sermon while you were doing it. If you're so concerned, Father, maybe you should save the innocent souls of these fine Christians yourself. Go to Scalitz and consecrate their graves. I assure you, if you're killed by bandits, your soul will soar straight to heaven as long as someone buries you in consecrated ground first. If there's anything left to bury, that plump carcass of yours would be quite a feast for the wolves and the crows. <laughs> and one skeleton looks much like another, so how would we know which were your ordained bones or those of Sigismund's <laughs> Oh, you guys are hilarious. Why have you come here? I must get your sword back. Sword? My sword hangs here at my side. No, the sword my father forged for you. One of those thieves stole it from me. They almost killed him and he already wants to go back. Takes after his father, I suppose. 
Lad, I've lost a castle, a village, silver mines, and a good half of my subjects. Why would I miss one sword? Because it's the last one my father forged, and I promised him I'd deliver it to you. I understand. I'd feel the same way. But prudence is the better part of valor, and a dead man keeps no promises. Aye. The woman had to save his fat from the fire, and now he wants revenge. What kind of fool are you, boy? He's no fool. <laughs> Henry, you have courage, but you need training, arms, a horse. Or do you mean to beat this arms. thief? Arms. I have arms. How do you see he has arms on his? Please take me into your service and give me the on his shoulders. Things. The gall of him! Fled from the enemy, disobeyed your orders, duped Sir Divish, lost your sword, put Sir Robard in danger with his actions, and now he wants a promotion. Sir Capon's right. What you say is certainly true, except for fleeing the enemy. You would have run as well. Believe me. Henry's earned some punishment. How do you punish someone who's already lost everything? Hmm? Courage and blind obedience are good qualities for a soldier. But a wise man also appreciates loyalty, perseverance, and determination. Besides, that was a fine sword that his father made. If he thinks he can get it back, I won't turn it down. My lord! He's a peasant. <laughs> you can't make a squire of a peasant. <laughs> Why not? Someone made a priest of a pig. <laughs> he isn't a peasant, father. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. So, you'd like to enter my service? So, I... yes, I would. You won't regret it. <laughs> oh, I probably will. And yeah, that, that's kind of rude. Lad, don't disappoint me. Oh, fortune has finally smiled on you today, lad. Make, Make the most of it. Now that I think about it, Sir Hanush, the boy needs training and experience, and you need spear carriers. That's true. The bailiff is always complaining about your people making trouble in the camp. Maybe one of their own among the guard might help. It might. In any event, it will prove valuable experience. <laughs> but let's be clear. You're the one paying him. <laughs> Captain Bernard, see to his training, and then send him to the bailiff. Yes, sir. And don't spare him. You're going to rely on it, sir. Uh, don't forget, Henry. Don't disappoint me. I won't, my lord. Oh, yeah. Okay, sorry guys, I got a good tired watching that, but I'm good. Yeah, I actually really enjoy that that scene. That's actually one of my favorite scenes in the game. Okay, so what do we need to do next? Okay, we need to... Um, yeah, we need to... Uh, now we need to go do some training, but I want to get some decent clothes. I mean, we haven't got much money, but let's see what, what we could do so far. All right. And vitality... Yeah, our vitality has gone up a bit. Okay, let let let's go to the tailor quickly, and just see what we can find. Oh, damn it! Uh. Okay. Yeah, it is quite late. Let's let's maybe sleep here. Egg, salt, for yeast. You can't bake in this game, so why would I need that? Okay, I'm just gonna take a. I'm just gonna sleep here, just so time can go by a bit quicker. Yeah. I mean, seriously, that whole cutscene took like half a day. Okay, quickly, please. Thank you. All right. There we go. Okay, I, I just want to get some decent clothes. And besides, I think by the time we get to the other side, it will be time up anyway to. Uh, you know, sleep again anyway, so, you know, it's no point, really. Yeah. Okay, so, the shops are probably not going to be open, so when we wake up, we need to find somewhere to eat, and then, yeah, you know that. Okay. Um, yeah, so, we're doing very well, guys, I, I have to say. Hmm. <laughs> Yeah, I'm enjoying I'm enjoying this game quite a bit. 
It's one of my favorite games, actually. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna wake up now because we need to speed time to go to about 10 o'clock anyway. Um, yeah. Okay, come on, wake up, get up. Okay, now let's wait until 10 o'clock. Okay, there we go. And there should be a pot over there where we can get something to eat. That's free, and then and then we should be good. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Oh, I just want to get some decent clothes because I think, I mean, it's no point in really repairing that cumin armor because it's not that good. You know what I mean? So yeah, okay. Now let's go get something to eat quickly once the game is done done loading, and then we will see what we do next. All right. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. So now we can go here. Boom. There we go. There we go, guys. Okay. Now we're good. Okay. There we go. Okay. Let's let's hope that this is open. Yeah. Okay. Now let's go. Boom. Okay. Okay, yes, there we go. Okay, trade is open. Okay, and the game is hopefully gonna stop lagging now. Okay, trade. Let's see what we can afford here. Okay, we haven't got much money. So let's see, what can we afford? It's like nice, okay. Okay, cheese, that's like... Okay. Can we afford this? No, we can't, okay. Can we sell this? Um Okay. Ah, so then maybe what we what we could do is how about buying a nice you see all these things are very expensive. We could buy this, that's nice and cheap, yeah. Maybe why don't we buy this? This should look nice, there we go. I'm gonna buy something that looks nice, there we go. Okay, we could buy this, yeah. Okay. So let's now buy this. Let's try and bring the price down a bit. Let's have a word about the price. Sure, why not? Yes, why not? Okay. Can we go 15? Is this enough? Please tell me we can go 15. Come. Just a little more and we have a deal. Okay, fine. Okay, can 17 work? Finally. A re yeah, there we go. Okay, good. Okay, now let's put this on. Okay, yeah, we can put this on. And then we can go like this. There we go. Now, I think we owe like 60... 60 groschen. Let me just see how... Um, how how much it is. Heavens, lad. You're looking bright, I do I'm healthy again. I'm feeling as good as me. Well, I'm glad to hear it. Yeah, let's go. Um, about the depth. Mm. Take me a while longer. Take me a while longer. Yeah. I understand. There's no hurry. I'm sure you'll. Yeah, okay, now okay, now let's go and do our job. Okay, our, our fighting thingy. Yep, and then, and, and then I think, guys, we'll call it a day after we've done this fighting thingy. It's gonna take us a while to get there anyway. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Well, I actually think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna walk there. And then uh, I'm, I'm actually going to save the game when we get there because it takes us a while because we don't we don't have a horse. And our stamina doesn't last very long, so it's going to take us a while to get there anyway. So once we get there, we can have a chat. And yeah. So anyway, guys, I have been working quite hard these past two weeks and I was sick for two weeks. So that's why there wasn't any videos last week. 
Um, but now I've decided instead of doing three videos a week, I'm now going to do four videos. So I'll do Monday, Tuesday, and then Thursday and Friday. And then Wednesday will either be no a, a, a no video day or a building day when I do a building video. But I haven't done them in a long time. I will do another building video sometime, but we will see. Yeah. So that is my schedule, what I'm planning on. Yeah. Okay, but anyway. Alright. Uh, okay. There is this dude. Alright. Okay. But anyway, guys, I'm gonna leave it here. Anyway, guys, thank you so so. Thank you guys very much for watching. Do me a favor, go hit that hit that like button, subscribe to my content, give me your feedback, talk to me in the comments, and I will respond back. But yeah. Anyway, guys, thank you guys very much for watching. Please take care and good goodbye.